Hi, my name is Jan Smith and I am uh, a client of Mexicali Bariatric. Uh, Dr. Aceves did my vertical sleeve August 21st of 2012. My beginning weight uh, was around 419 and um, I've lost around 256 pounds uh, as of a little over two years ago. Uh, in, in the two years since I've had my surgery. So I had thought about this. I'm, an, I'm a registered nurse, and I've been a registered nurse for 30 years, and I had really never even considered coming to Mexico for surgery. Um, and I was willing to pay my insurance, the hospital I work for, the insurance does not pay for uh, the surgery that I wanted, the vertical sleeve. So I went to a physician that uses my hospital, but they would only keep me there one day, and they only did one leak test, and it was going to be $24,000, So, I, which I was actually willing to pay. But the doctor was very um, rude to me, actually and I felt like he didn't understand the struggle that it took and the courage that it took for me to walk through his doors and say, I need help. Um, I had tried everything from hypnosis to uh, Weight Watchers and Weight Watchers multiple times. I tried everything many, many times. And um, everything worked until it didn't work and I wasn't doing it, Medifast, and, Everything worked. I dieted my way up to 419 pounds. And um, so by the time I was really, I wasn't a diabetic, so that was good, but I had a lot of knee pain and joint pain. And I knew that I didn't want to continue my life that way. And I felt like, what was I? Everything, every TV show, every TV commercial, everything that would come out, I'd think, is this the thing that's going to work for me? Should I try this now? Should I try this? What should I try next? And um, after I went to see that doctor and I, I left his office crying in Washington State, I left his office and I cried. That same week, I ended up going into a new facility. And I, this woman approached me, this nurse approached me, and she said, I'm so glad to see you, Jan. And she gave me a great big hug, and I had no idea who she was. And she introduced herself to me and said, this is who I am. And I hadn't seen her in a couple of years. And she had been to Dr. Seves. And so she sat with me. And it was that same week that I had had that horrible experience with the local doctor that I went to. And so she told me about Dr. Sevis, and I immediately called Nina. And um, you were very prompt at getting right back to me, and, which I completely appreciated. And there was no pressure at all, which I loved, the fact that you, you know, offered me information, but you didn't pressure me into anything. Um, so anyway, I did some research on Dr. Aceves in Mexicali Bariatric and Almater Hospital. And it has very good, you know, reviews. And what I didn't know, actually, what I, I missed somehow in my research was that Dr. Aceves was one of the top bariatric surgeons in the world top 25 bariatric surgeons in the world. I didn't know that until last year because I've had several people since they've seen my success, they came here and have had surgery. So multiple people that I know, four or five people that I know have had come here for, for Dr. Sevis and now for the team of physicians here. Um, When my daughter expressed interest in it, I said, do your research, 
and if it's something that you want to do, I'll support you. I wish that it would have been available to me when I was younger because I would have done it. It would have saved me a lifetime of my adulthood of angst and worry over how am I going to lose my weight? How am I going to get healthy? Is this time, is, can this time really be it? Can I really do it? And so I wanted her to do her own research and to, to really decide for herself. She's 24. Is this what you want to do? But I wouldn't recommend anywhere else. The only place that I wanted her to come to was to Mexicali Bariatric. Even, and, and I called you, Nina, and I asked you if, if, tell me about Dr. Willamy. And I wanted to know things about him, about his, you know, history and what his safety record was and so forth. I was very reassured by the fact that he had worked with and trained with Dr. Sevis. And that meant a lot to me. Um, I cannot say enough about this facility. I cannot say enough about the staff, from the housekeepers to the beautiful people in the kitchen, the cafeteria. Um, absolutely warm and genuinely wonderful. When Blair and I were, well, so the bottom, Here's the story. Here's this. Blair decided she wanted to do the, the surgery. And we came here, of course. We made the appointment. And I had her call you, and I wanted her to do the work to get it set up. So she dealt with, with Nina and, and did it all. And it was a beautiful experience for her, I think, in just in terms of growth and... Um, it was neat to see her make that decision that she wanted to choose health and step out of the battle because it is like for me it's such a relief all my well all of my life from even a child I mean I was going to Weight Watchers when I was in elementary school and junior high so I, I constantly did battle but where I was going with that story with the staff here at the hospital it doesn't matter if you're on this unit where all of the Mexicali bariatric folks are you can be out walking Blair was walking last night and she didn't have slippers on and um, she had some hiccups she wasn't sure if she was gonna hiccup or if she was gonna do something else. So I got her a little cup and she had three nurses at different times coming up to her. One before she had the cup gave her slippers. Another one approached her and said are you nauseated? And another one came up with a wheelchair. And we weren't patients of theirs and they were busy out on that unit. And it didn't matter. We were here and we, they saw our need and they responded. And that's the way all the staff is here. And I've worked in hospitals for 34 years and I cannot express more deep gratitude. When I describe this little hospital to people, from the, my experience, and initially I thought, okay, was this like a a fluke? Is it a fluke? Because I had a really good experience when I came down here for my surgery. And people wander around as you walk and they talk to each other and they wander in and out of each other's rooms. And if your door is open, talk to each other. And if the door is closed, you want privacy and quiet. But when I brought another friend down a year ago, it was the same exact thing. And I described this place as a healing nest. It really feels that way. And it isn't a fluke. It, it is that way. It's that way today, when we, this week, when we've brought my daughter down. 
it's the same way. It's the staff, the core staff that are here are warm and genuine and wonderful. And I would never hesitate to recommend this place, ever, ever, ever. The doctor's round, there is something else that's a, a significant difference. In the majority of hospitals that I've ever worked at, doctors round once, maybe twice, usually once a day, either before or after their clinic hours. Here, the doctors are generally in two to three times a day. And that's amazing to me. It's amazing. I love this place. And it changed my life. Completely. I went from feeling like I was in prison in a body that didn't suit me. I surely had created it through the stresses and choices that I made throughout my life. But to have a tool that um, got me out of prison, it's like a miracle. And I was very grateful to be able to come back here last year with my friend Lorian and tell Dr. Aceves face to face thank you and how deeply he had changed my life and blessed my life. And I think initially he didn't really, he took it in, he listened to me, but I don't think he really heard me completely. I mean, he was very humble, right? A very humble man and he just he was kind and polite and said thank you but he didn't hear me until he came in the room and he actually stayed with Lorian and I probably an hour one evening and we were just talking about he was talking to Lorian about the sleeve and teaching her stuff about it we were just talking about it and and of course my gratitude and so forth came up and he cried with me I mean I couldn't have kept tears from it was so well it just meant a lot to me to be able to tell him thank you because he really uh, changed my life yeah I had a part in it absolutely I chose this path I chose to come here but there's really not any, um, there's such a difference in the way that uh, you can have this surgery. I've had friends that have had this surgery in the state where I live. They were, one was kept not even overnight. She was kept, she, the procedure was done as an outpatient. And they suggested that she stay at a hotel that night, close to their clinic. She didn't have any leak tests before she left, went to the hotel. Her outcome was fine. She's doing fine. But I can't imagine going to a hotel without having nurses and so forth to monitor you. I can't. And the other one had it at my hospital. She stayed overnight one night, had one leak test, and was, you know, gone. Her success has been, you know, so-so. Um, but there's no comparison. Here, you're in the hospital three days. You're never alone here. They're with you constantly. There's like organized clockwork. They have this down to uh, science. <laughs> really, you guys do. You have it down to science. Like as you come in, you get your lab work done, your EKG. Then you get to go to the resort. Now there's no hardship there. <laughs> you get to go to paradise and <laughs> have your nice dinner and 
it's just it's a lovely experience. It doesn't feel like coming for surgery. It feels like going on a vacation. It's really nice. <laughs>